Hello, my name is Julie. I'm from Prescott, Arizona. I swore an oath to the Constitution the first time when I was 18 when I joined the Army. I spent almost seven years in the military and got an honorable discharge. I went on to work for the federal government. And every time you change jobs in the federal government, you swear an oath again to the Constitution. So I did that for 34 years and I was very proud to do it. I love my country. I loved being a Republican. I was a Republican for 40 years. I voted in every election um, as long as I was stateside. Uh, during that 40 years and um, I believed and still believe in the uh, principles and the ideals of the Republican Party which are smaller government and lower taxes, um, balanced budgets and free trade and all those things. I still believe in those but as of this day I am a Democrat because I could not stay in a party that was committed to one person to his bidding and his appeasement and I just couldn't do it. So I left the party because they left me and I am now a Democrat. But during those um, 40 years, I worked voting polls. I worked in San Diego. I worked the polls and I also ran a poll out of somebody's garage. It was the first time that California was using electronic voting equipment and it was very rudimentary but we made it work and um and i loved working the polls i was proud to do it i did it honestly and all the people i worked with did it honestly and this was before mail-in um, balloting so it was um it was the only thing we had um, there was one day to vote and it was very difficult for people Mail-in voting has been wonderful. I, I can't tell you the number of people that would tell me back in the day, oh, I wanted to vote, but uh, my kid got sick or my car broke down or, you know, some other thing came up at the last minute and they weren't able to vote and it's just not right. So mail-in voting is wonderful. I've been voting by mail for 16 years. I voted by mail in Colorado and I vote, I've been voting by mail in Arizona. And there's never been an issue. I've never heard anyone say there was an issue, that they saw someone cheating or knew someone that cheated or, or heard of any widespread cheating going on. I mean, there was just, uh, there isn't any. And it just saddens me and it sickens me what Arizona is going through right now because of the lies of one person and everyone around him wanting to just appease him for whatever reason. I mean, it's just nuts to me. I mean, I, I would have never thought Republicans would do what they've been doing. So it, it's just extremely sad, disappointing, and frankly corrupt and ridiculous. So anyway, that's my story, and I thank you for listening.